Hey friends, you know, before I started my health journey, I did not realize how stuck I was. I was doing all the things that I felt God was leading me to. I wrote books, spoke at conferences, started a podcast, adopted kids, homeschool kids, helped start a crisis pregnancy center, mentored teen moms for many years. It's like, if God says it, I'm just going to step out and do it. But then I had the clear steps that I took to figure out what needed to be done. So when I wanted to become a writer, um, first of all, it was that stirring inside me that there is change. I was a stay-at-home mom of little kids, but knowing that I wanted to have a book published, I connected first with a friend who had been working on a book for a while, and she said, come to a writing group with me. So I went and I connected with other people. We saved up money. We went to a conference, which was a huge sacrifice for this mom um, of three little kids and um, living in low income housing. But I had a goal and I knew where I wanted to go. Once I got there at the writers conference, I was surrounded by these amazing Christian people. And I also got books, resources that I had picked up on writing. I bought um, cassette tapes, this is back in the day, to teach me about writing and I went home and I took the principles that I learned um, along with connecting with my friend who had, was a little farther on the path and the community I had um, developed from going to the Writers Conference and I started to make changes in my life. Um, and so first of all, I'd made time to write every day, I set a plan, I figured out the the right resources I needed to be successful. Um, I took little steps every day. I said no to a lot of things, um, a lot of homeschooling activities. I said no to things that would have been fun um, because I had my goal in mind of what I wanted to accomplish. But I had also that community around me that was on the same path. So I came home from my first writer's conference and I had gathered the business cards of all these amazing Christian women who didn't all know each other and I made an email support group. This is before the time of Facebook or Discord or all these ways we connect now and I would take everyone's prayer requests and then I would compile them into an email and send them out every um, week. And that was my community. I listened when someone said, try this, do this, do this system. Um, and then I saw success come. And it's so interesting that when it came to my health, I said things like, I could do it on my own. I don't know. I don't need like a plan because I, sh I should know how to do this. Um, I don't understand why it's not working, but for 30 years, I just kept with this cycle of things that weren't working. I tried easy fixes. Now, if I would have gone to the writer's conference and like, hey, can you give me a pill that I could take? and uh, all of a sudden I'll just be able to write a book automatically. That doesn't make any sense at all. Or if I do this little thing or that little thing and let me try this, if there's no consistency in my writing, I would have not gotten where I am today as a writer. And it had to be the same thing when it came to my health. Um, for so long I was floundering just trying this and trying that, but not really trying because I didn't have that goal in mind because truly I didn't even know if that goal was possible, which is funny because here I was thinking, oh, it's totally possible that a person with only her high school diploma from Weed High School and nothing else can become a multi-published author that people will pay to go speak on big stages and encourage and inspire them. I thought that was possible, but I didn't think it was possible to get healthy, um, to keep the weight off, to feel great, to be an active person because my mind was stuck. But everything started to change when I started to do the same things I did when I wanted to be a writer. First of all, I reached out to a friend. So when it came to writing, it was my friend Cindy in the church nursery who told me that she was working on a novel and something inside stirred and said, I want that. And so then we went to a writer's group and then a larger writer's community. I surrounded myself with people. With my, my health, it was my friend Amber who had successfully lost weight and had kept it off for five years. Just like I saw my successful friends when I went to the writer's conference, I met 
Robin Jones Gunn, who's a multi-published author and a wonderful success. Um, she became my mentor and it's like, do this, try this. She would give me the encouragement. She was someone that was steps ahead of me that when I came to a problem, I could turn to you. Amber became that as my coach. Amber also introduced me to an amazing community of people. We are online every day in quick 15 minute Zoom calls, sharing encouragement, sharing our wins. Everyone is working together, seeing that this success is possible and it makes a huge difference. Um, then there's the plan. So I went to writer's conference and I took diligent, diligent notes on how to structure a novel, how to write an article, how to work with social media, all the things I took time to learn those things. And then for some reason, I just thought like, oh, I'll just eat whatever I want and pray that it will change, things will change, and then get upset when things didn't change. And I got a plan. And so with Amber, we had the coaching, we have the community, then we have the plan, which is the habits of health that teaches you, okay, let's eat small meals, um, starting within the first 30 minutes to the hour when you first wake up, and let's eat every two and a half to three hours throughout the day, um, and let's drink lots of water, make sure you get sleep, and then your body's gonna get in fat burn, and you're also, guess what, not gonna have cravings, and you're also, guess what, going to feel satisfied and not even have that temptation um, because you're going to get that sugar out of your system where it's going to be that craving, that craving, that craving. And you can look at a huge table of desserts and not even want it. I did not think that was possible, but my coach and my community, and then I got the books, the habits of health. I started making those changes and things started to change. But it took me being intentional to reach out first to that friend, to become curious about what she was doing, to listen as she invited me to this community and pointed me to these resources. And then it's all about the tools. When I first started writing, I had the old slow computer with the floppy disk. And I remember getting an email and not even understanding why this was important to my life, which is hilarious now because my life has filled with emails every day. There's dozens and dozens of emails, but I got the tools that I needed. I have my laptop computer. I have my cell phone. I have my resource books. I have the things that I need every day to make sure it's possible to get the work done. Now I could have a yellow notepad and a pen. I could still do it that way. It would be a lot slower. Um, but I could say, well, I could do this without the tools, without the computer, without internet. And yes, it's possible. I could have a notepad that I have to pay someone to transcribe things for me. If I didn't have a typewriter, it would just, it could, it's possible. It's totally possible. Um, and that's what I love about this program with Optavia. It has the tools that we need also, which before I was still purchasing food. I was going to Sam's Club or Costco, filling up carts. I was preparing food. Um, I was spending a lot of money. I was going through drive through I was going through Starbucks. I was spending a lot of money, but I was saying, oh, I don't need specific tools. I'll figure it out myself or do this other thing. Or maybe I'll try this where Optavia has all the food, which is nutritious, has high protein, low carbs, low sugar, is perfectly balanced with the right vitamins and minerals and probiotics to give me my body exactly what I need for the season of weight loss. And then they point out how you eat after you lose your weight. But also we're cooking, we're making lean and green meals. Only a small portion of the food from Optavia is actually in a bar. There's some bars that are delicious, that are, that are great to tuck in to my purse or my backpack, but most of it is food I have to cook. And no one would say like, oh, I'm not gonna go buy that pasta from that pan or that red mill flour or that natural cocoa powder because it comes in a package. Instead, these things are already put together in a package in a way to make it super easy to make a mug brownie um, and individually packaged so we can throw it in. When I travel, I throw stuff in my suitcase. It makes it convenient. The packages are for convenience. It does not impact the food. We would not say if we got wheat flour that I cannot eat this flour because it comes in a package and it's processed because who's walking into the field and picking the grains of wheat and eating them. And so many obstacles to our way of thinking. Um, I don't have time. Well, I was make, I was eating anyway. 
I don't have the money. I was shopping anyway. In fact, we're, we're spending a lot less because we are, our stomachs are smaller. We don't eat all the food that we have. We're not eating out as much. I'm not going to Starbucks every day because I need that energy boost because I was exhausted all the time. Um, so saves time, saves money, convenience of getting nutritious food delivered to me that I can make easily throughout my day and just fuel my body with the right things as we get to weight loss. And then when you get to your goal, they're like, well, also before the goal, here are hundreds of amazing recipes to cook healthy for your family. Again, more guidance of all the things, just like that author telling me how to write a novel and then giving me all the tools and worksheets and everything to actually go home and do it. These recipes are there. Yes, I need to purchase the items and I need to put the time in to make the meals, but it's all there. I have the coach, I have the community, I have the plan, I have the tools. And it's no wonder now when I actually figured out to do the same thing that I was doing before when it came to writing books or starting a podcast or start a crisis pregnancy center, I was reaching out to mentors. I was surrounding myself with a community. I was finding the resources to give me the information I needed and then I was finding the tools. I have a microphone right here that I use for my podcast to make it be successful. Yes, I could just speak into my computer. It wouldn't be as clear. I could get something done. I wouldn't have the same results. But I made an investment in a tool, which the fuelings, the food from Octavia is a tool to help you get to your goal. And then you have the books and the habits and the community and the coaching that help you be successful. So why in the world was I so stuck in my thinking? Because I thought that my health was completely different than the steps that I need to take for my writing, for my podcasting, for my homeschooling, for all those numbers of things, but it is exactly the same. So I reached out to my friend Robin when I wanted to write. I reached out to my friend Sandy when I wanted to learn about being a homeschooler. I've reached out to other people who have been steps ahead of me when I needed help and then they showed me the community. They led me to the resources. They pointed out the tools I needed and I did it. And I made the investment and it has worth it. It has paid off by dozens of dozens of books, tens of thousands of articles. The pregnancy center that I helped start in Montana is still there. It's still running. It's still going. It is still helping people. All the things that I did were foundations for the life that I wanted to live. I'm a writer. I'm a mentor, I'm a teacher. All those things happen because I set up the steps ahead of time, surrounded myself with people that can help me, got the right tools, and now I'm doing the same thing with my help. Help. So if you want help for your health, reach out to me. I would love to talk to you. I am working with amazing coaches that are ahead of me, that are alongside me, and now I'm training people to help them reach their community, their friends from church, their neighbors, and the ripple effect of health is amazing. Just like the ripple effect of writing books or working with teen moms or serving in children's church or writing articles and blogs. It is all the same. And I love that we have people that can help us, a community that can surround us, information that we need and tools that can help us on this journey. So reach out to me. I would love to talk to you. You can always go to trishagoyer.com slash health, trishagoyer.com dot com slash health and on that page there is a story of my friend Kayla who said you know what Trisha I see you are making changes in your life I would love to join you in that you can hear her podcast hear her talk about it um Kayla is still, still a dear friend I was just talking to her we are still walking this path together and she's has helped has helped dozens of dozens of friends to also find health she has helped her mom and her sister like so many people in her life and it was her doing the same thing reaching out to me surrounding herself with the community getting the right resources, using the tools that are available to her. And then at the bottom of that, you will see a health assessment form, fill it out. And either me or Kayla or Tracy or Tammy or Sandy or any of the other people that I am helping to coach, we will reach out to you. And okay, I will also let you know that if you reach out to any of those coaches that I'm training, you also get me, you get double because I'm helping them where we work together as teams so we can make sure the people that we're working with are always supported. So, um, and we have, we have guy coaches too. So that you can, if you're like, I, I don't want to talk to all these girls, 
don't worry, we got you got you covered there. So reach out to me. Just go to trishagora.com slash help.